Hi guys, I'm Duri. I'm back with another Japan vlog because you guys seem to like them. We had a flight from Japan to Turkey, so we had to get PCR tested. Here's us on our way to the lab that we're gonna get tested. What I like about Japanese transportation is that firstly they're always on time. Secondly, nobody talks loudly or makes phone calls. People will stare at you if you do that. I wish we had convenience stores like Family Mart, 7-Eleven in Turkey. It makes life easier because not only they're 24-7 open, you can buy all of the usual Japanese convenience store goods such as basic grocery items, magazines, manga, soft drinks, alcoholic drinks like sake, nikuman, fried chicken, onigiri, and bento. We came to Shinjuku, which is near to the lab. We had to walk, so I decided to show you guys around. I think vlog in Harajuku would be much more interesting, but because of the current situation, I wasn't going out really. So we came to the lab that we're gonna take PCR test. Um, I don't know if we are allowed to do film during the test, so we'll see. We were not allowed to film during the test, so all I can show is my saliva. I don't know if you're interested, I hope not. <laughs> we had two to three hours until the results and we were allowed to go outside, so my mother and I decided to eat shorlong bowl. So souped dumplings, which is my favorite food in the entire world. People ask me, which is your favorite, Turkish cuisine or Japanese cuisine? Sorry for the disappointment, but it's Taiwanese and Chinese. We used to travel quite a lot when I was a kid and I went to Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, China, Singapore, Hong Kong, Georgia, Bulgaria, Bahrain, Mexico, USA, France, Italy, Germany, Austria, and Spain. But I find food in Taiwan and China was the most delicious one. I'm not sure, some people say that Xiaolongbao is Taiwanese, some say Chinese, if you know that, let me know in the comments down below. We went to Tin Tai Fong, which is my go-to for soup dumplings. If you want to try them, go to Tin Tai Fong and order the regular ones. Trust me, I tried every single Xiaolongbao restaurant in various Asian countries and it's my favorite. We ordered the regular ones. Look at those yummy dumplings. Oh, I love them so much. There is a way to eat it. Firstly, you put some sauce in a ginger dish and then you take xiaolongpo and dip in the sauce. Afterwards, place xiaolongpo, xiaolongpo in the spoon and poke a small hole to release the broth. Then enjoy your delicious soup dumpling with some ginger and the broth. We ordered chimaki. I'm not sure, but I guess it's originated from China, and I guess it's called Songtongzi? I don't know. Also, we ordered gyoza. In Japan, we call it gyoza, but I guess Chinese call it jiaozi. Yeah. In Turkish cuisine, my favorite food is mantı. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a huge dumpling fan. I love Japanese cuisine as well, don't get me wrong. I'm in love with it as well. But, you know, I just love Chinese and Taiwanese more. I've been trying Vietnamese and I found a super delicious place in Tokyo. Their pho is so delicious and I'm just addicted to it. I love Western cuisine as well, but I love Asian more. I love rice over bread. This is a mango shaved ice with condensed milk. If you follow me on Instagram, I guess you know that I love it. When I read the comments on my Instagram post, I realize that almost every country in Asia has its own shaved ice and I'm gonna try every single of them. <laughs> Even tricky. We have something called buju buju that I didn't know about, but I'm gonna definitely try it. This one is from Taiwan called yeah. My follower told me that it means snowflake ice, which basically it is. It melts in your mouth, the perfect amount of sweetness, fresh and delicious.
one was not enough, so I ordered one more and ate all of it by myself. I know, I eat too much. Here's how they make a Shaolong Po. Shaolong Po. Shaolong Po. Shaolong Po? Shaolong Po. In Japan, we say Shaolong Po. We came to the Depachika, which means department store underground. In Japan, almost every department store sells bentos, wagashi, foods, desserts, alcohol, gifts, etc. I love Depachika so much, you can always find something to buy, eat, and gift. Japanese know how to make someone spend money. They sell various foods, Asian cuisine, Western cuisine, traditional ones, everything you can imagine. I decided to buy my grandparents bento from Imahan, which is famous for its yummy bentos because I'm a good girl. I picked the skiaki bento and the steak bento. I had to cut the volume because the music was playing in the background in the bachka and the last thing that I want is to get demonetized. I also got strawberry daifuku for my grandma. My grandma and I love wagashi, Japanese traditional desserts. They are so elegant, not too sweet, perfect with green tea. By the way, when we're in Japan, we talk in Turkish and in Turkey, we talk in Japanese so that nobody can understand us. Enjoy the wagashi store. After buying enough food for my grandparents, I decided to film them all. I found a super cafe which used to be full all the time. Look how empty it's right now. It makes me kind of sad. I didn't order anything because I was so full. I only filmed to show you guys. Look how fashion style is different in Japan. Japanese people tend to wear more feminine, cute clothes. Of course, there are exceptions, but when you compare it to the West, I think Japanese have the kawaii style, which I love, but personally don't wear. Okay, so I came back to home. My test result was negative, so I'm allowed to fly tomorrow. And yeah, I'm currently packing my stuff. It kind of takes a lot of time to pack my stuff, so I don't know how long will this take. But yeah, I'm currently like doing a lot of stuff. My room is pretty messy right now. But yeah, I guess that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. 